Hey, what's up, guys? It's Darkroom Duels, and today we're doing an Invoke 60 card Fusion Good Stuff deck profile. So I'm really excited for you guys because this is actually suggested to me by one of my patrons, Izzy. And this deck is a crazy awesome deck. It's actually one of the most wild decks I've built in a long time. And it basically can summon out Red Eyes Dark Dragoon, Destiny Hero Destroyer Phoenix Enforcer, and Rainbow Neos, all while using the Invoked engine to go into all the insane Invoked Fusion monsters as well. So, without further ado, guys, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell there so you can come part notification squad, and definitely check out the Patreon down in the description below for all those awesome rewards like getting your name, script, screen, single video, getting assigned cards in the mail, and even getting to request a deck profile every single month to your Patreon, along with test hands. So, without further ado, let's get straight on into this, and definitely give Izzy some love down in the comments down below for suggesting such a crazy awesome deck so first off we're gonna be playing three copies of alistair the invoker which is the best normal summon in the entire deck that basically searches invocation upon normal summon which is a great effect to be able to immediately get to your fusion spell we're then going to be playing two copies of the ultimate wizard in terms of attack and defense the dark magician and two copies of red eyes black dragon these are here to so you can go into your copy of red eyes dark dragoon and they're really good in this deck and there's even ways that if you you draw into them you can still fusion summon into your red eyes dark dragoon we then play two copies of elemental hero neos and two copies of rainbow dark dragon this is here so you can go to your copy of your rainbow neos and actually you can even use rainbow dark dragon to go into your copy of red eyes dark dragoon if you draw into it because it's a dark dragon monster that you can use with polymerization to go into your copy of dragoon using a copy of dark magician and rainbow dark dragon Dragon. We then play a single copy of Destiny Hero Celestial and a single copy of Destiny Hero Dasher. These are here so you can go into your copies of your Destiny Hero Destroyer Phoenix Enforcer. And they're really good in the deck as well because if you don't have any cards in your hand and you have Celestial in the graveyard except the turn was sent there, you can banish it and your copy of Dasher to be able to draw two cards, which is really amazing. And I really like that about this deck. So that's it for the fusion materials. Let's get into the tech monsters that we're playing in this build. So for the tech monsters that we're playing in this build, we're going to be playing three copies of Predaplant or the Scorpio. It works so well with fusion cards because it has the ability, if this card is normal or special summon, you can send a monster from your hand to the graveyard to be able to special summon out a Predaplant monster from your deck, which is really good because you're always going to summon out your copy of Darling Cobra. Darling Gubber has the ability that if this card is special summoned by the effect of a Preta Plant monster, you can add a Polymerization spell or a Fusion spell from your deck to your hand, which is a great effect to be able to just search any of the cards you need, while also giving you two monsters on your side of the field to summon out your Anaconda. That is something very important about this deck that you're trying to do, is you're trying to get a normal summon and a special summon, so you can link summon into an Anaconda to then send from the deck to the graveyard a Fusion spell, so you can summon out one of your boss monsters. So keep that in mind as you see the tech monsters. We're then going to be playing three copies of Neospatian Connector. Neospatian Connector is absolutely insane in this deck because when it's normal summon, you can special summon out a Neospatian or an Elemental Hero Neos to your side of the field, which is a great effect to be able to use because getting Neos out of the deck onto your side of the field can help out a lot because if you have Polymerization in your hand and a Rainbow Dark Dragon, you can immediately go into Rainbow Neos and then tribute this card to be able to bounce all the cards on your opponent's side of the field that are monsters back into the deck, which is really good while also keeping a 4,500 attack point monster. We then play a single copy of Aqua Dolphin. Aqua Dolphin is here because you're going to special summon it off the copy of Neos Spatial Connector. So it's a really good one of in here if you don't want to summon out the copy of Neos because Neos is a normal monster. So it's a little bit more difficult to go into your copy of Anaconda with just Neos. We then play three copies of Jester Confi. This is a free special summon, so I play it as a three of in this build. We're playing three copies of Magician Soul. Magician Soul is really good because it's kind of like Neos Spatial Connector, that it has the ability that you can send this card to the graveyard and then either special summon this card or you send from your hand or from your deck to the graveyard a dark magician and then when you send your dark magician to the graveyard you can either special summon this card or special summon the dark magician that you sent to the graveyard with this card's effect which is super helpful to be able to do to get that dark magician into the graveyard or get this card to your side of the field to be able to link summon into a copy of anaconda we then play three copies of Black Metal Dragon. Black Metal Dragon is here because you can basically link this card away to be able to get a copy of Red Eyes Insight or Red Eyes Fusion from your deck to your hand. We then play three copies of King of the Swamp. King of the Swamp is really good because it can count as any fusion material and you can discard it from your hand to the graveyard to be able to search a polymerization, which is a great effect. We then play for my personal tech of the deck, we're gonna be playing a single copy of Cyberstein. 
I love this card in the deck because you can normal summon it out to your side of the field, pay 5,000, and special summon out any fusion monster from your extra deck. You can summon Dragoons, Destiny or Destroy Phoenix Enforcer. You can summon out Rainbow Neos. You can summon out any of the other tech monsters we're playing in the deck. Or if there's a tech fusion that you want to include in this deck, you can take out any of the cards in your extra deck and put it in like a copy of the alternative Blue Eyes Ultimate. So you can play that card as well in this deck. That's absolutely insane and super cool that you'd actually play Cyberstein in this build. So that's it for the monsters guys let's get into the spells so for the spells we're going to be playing a single copy of terraforming terraforming is here because we're going for the copy of magical meltdown play a single copy of one for one one for one is here because we play so many level ones in the deck it's super easy to get them back on our side of the field and be able to link summon into a copy of anaconda we play three copies of red eyes insight red eyes insight is here because you're basically using this card to search your red eyes fusion and it sends a red eyes from our decks the graveyard to open us up for a tech card that i'm playing as a trap card we're playing three copies of magical meltdown down. when you activate this card you can add a alistair from your deck to your hand and also has the ability of the activation of your cards and effects that include an effect that fusion summons a fusion monster cannot be negated and also your opponent's cards and effects cannot be activated um, when a monster is fusion summoned and which is a really insane thing for the deck that basically makes it speed spell four for fusion summoning and protects all your fusion summons this card is really really good we then play two copies of Invocation. Invocation is here because basically you can search it off your copy of Alistair. You don't really need three in this deck because you basically play seven copies of Alistair because you have the Terraforming, you have the three copies of Meltdown, and then you also have the three copies of Alistair as well. So this card is really good because it lets you fusion summon into any fusion monster. You can use this card as a regular polymerization if you want to, but it also has the ability that if you're going to summon an invoked fusion monster, you can banish cards from either player's graveyard to be able to summon out that invoked monster from the extra deck. It also has the ability that you can target one of your banished Alistairs, shuffle it into the deck, or shuffle this card into the deck, and add the Alistair back to your hand, which is really good because you can normal summon the Alistair again and search invocation during the next turn, constantly giving you a flow of uh, polymerizations to be able to use over and over again. We then play two copies of Fusion Destiny, so we can go into Destroyer Phoenix Enforcer, three copies of Neos Fusion. Neos Fusion is here because you can go into your copy of Rainbow Neos, and three copies of Red Eyes Fusion to go into your copy of Red Eyes Dark Dragoon. We then play for the last two fusion spells. I'm playing two copies of Polymerization. It's the classic card. It's really good to be able to play in the deck. And it helps out a lot because if you do hard draw into any of your vanilla monsters or your fusion materials, like your copies of Rainbow Dark Dragon, plus a copy of your King of the Swamp, you can go for your copies of your Rainbow Neos. If you draw into a copy of Dark Magician and Red Eyes, you can go for your copy of Dragoon. Basically, this makes it so that you don't really care if you draw into the bricks, which is fine. So that's it for the spells guys let's get into the traps so for the traps we're going to be playing six traps in the deck and we're going to be playing three copies of necrofusion necrofusion is crazy good in the deck because it helps us go into additional boss monsters and a second copy of any of the boss monsters that we're playing and then three copies of trap trick this is really good in the deck because basically the copies of necrofusion have the ability that they're basically miracle fusions you flip these cards up and they have the ability to fusion summon into a fusion monster from the extra deck by banishing the materials from your uh, graveyard face down and then the trap tricks makes it so that you're basically playing six copies of necrofusion and it's really good in this deck like it's really good to basically activate a red eyes fusion during your turn send the materials to the graveyard summon dragoon and then flip your copy of necrofusion and go in for a second copy during the next turn like why wouldn't you like that's really really good so that's it for the main deck guys let's get into the extra deck so for the extra deck, we're playing two copies of Red Eyes Dark Dragoon. Red Eyes Dark Dragoon is an insanely powerful boss monster that's a walking negate. It can't be destroyed by uh, card effects. It can't be targeted with card effects. And it also has the ability that for every vanilla monster you put into it, it can pop a monster on the field and then flick damage to your opponent equal to that monster's attack, which is really good. And if it does negate something by discarding a card from your hand, it goes up by a thousand attack points. This card is an absolutely crazy powerful boss monster and super easy to summon in this deck. We then play two copies of Rainbow Neos. Rainbow Neos is really good and helps you close out games because it has the ability. It has three different effects that you can either send a monster that you control to the graveyard and shuffle all monsters your opponent controls into the deck. Send a spell or trap you control to the graveyard and shuffle all spells and traps your opponent controls into the deck. Or send a card from the top of your deck to the graveyard and shuffle all cards in your opponent's graveyard into the deck. This card is really good. Helps you close out games with all of your other boss monsters. It's just a really good two of in the deck. We're then playing a single copy of Destiny Hero Destroyer Phoenix Enforcer. I really only 
sneak summon this card like every so often in the deck. I basically usually summon out the copy of Rainbow Neos and the copy of Red Eyes Dark Dragoon. But this card's really good in the deck, and I really want to be able to play all three of the insane three like big boss fusion monsters in this deck, and that was the whole point of the deck. But it's a really good card because it does reduce the attack of your opponent's monsters by 200 attack points for each hero in the graveyard. And again, once per turn, target a card that you control and a card your well it doesn't target. And targets a card or it just pops a card on your side of the field and a card on your opponent's side of the field which is really really good and if this card is destroyed by card effects it just special summons itself back during the next standby phase which is really good we then play a single copy of makaba which is a walking negate but you had to discard the same type of card that you're trying to do negate with this card's effect one copy of caligo which slows the game down a little bit which is really really nice one copy of the invoke tower this card is really good because basically it just requires a fusion monster plus an alistair to go into it i usually go into this late game which is really nice if you go into late game with all these boss monsters, but it's a really good card to play because basically it's just super easy to summon in the deck. We then play a single copy of Elemental Hero Neos Knight. This is here because I kept drawing into the copy of Neos and Polymerization plus any warrior, and it's super easy to summon, and it must be fusion summoned, and it gains attack equal to half the original attack of the warrior fusion material used to summon this card. And it also has the ability to make a second attack during each battle phase, but your opponent doesn't take any damage from battles involving this card. You can change this out for dark paladin because you can make dark paladin in this deck with your copy of king of the swamp and necrofusion and dark magician so you can change this out for dark paladin if you want to we then play a single copy of dark cavalry dark cavalry is a dark magician plus a warrior monster so it's easy to summon in the deck play a single copy of first of the dragon if i draw into a double normal monster i can make this card really easily and a lot of decks don't have an out to it so it's really really good to summon this card to your side of the field two copies of anaconda anaconda is really good because basically this is the entire deck that you're trying to summon your side of the field as the last card out after you activate like any of your polymerizations or any of your copies of your invocations you're going to want to make this card to be able to go into that additional monster of e any of the destroyer phoenix enforcer rainbow neos or your copy of red eyes dark dragoon we we'll a single copy of artemis artemis is here because you can link away the alistair to summon this and then once you link away the alistair to summon this you can then activate invocation get rid of this off your side of the field and the alistair that's in the graveyard and summon out the copy of makaba and then a single copy of link rebo for the uh, black metal dragon tokens to be able to search out your copy of red eyes insight and red eyes fusion so that's it for the deck guys it is a crazy deck i love it it's amazing it was one of those 3 30 in the morning builds and it was really insane like it's super fun it works so well and i'm so proud of this deck it's super crazy how it's so easy to just basically just make all sorts of really really fun boss monsters with it and you can summon multiple of them in the turn you can summon out like a dragoon and a destiny or destroyer phoenix on four so you can summon out a copy of like makaba and a copy of rainbow neo so you can summon out any combination of two of them every single turn set a copy of necrofusion and summon out a third one during the next turn which is just really insane this deck is super fun to play and i definitely recommend that you guys give this a try so anyways guys this is Dark Rum Duels. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Hit the bell on there so you can come part of the notification squad. And we'll see you guys in the next video. See you later, guys.